the October 237 Tuesday Disciple Training took place on the 22nd. The 5th World RTS Conference took place on the 24th at the Dokpyeong RUTC. Hello and welcome to the RUTC News. The October 237 Tuesday Disciple Training took place on the 22nd. The October 237 Tuesday Disciple Training took place on the 22nd. At the monthly 237 Tuesday Disciple Training in the direction of the fulfillment of the word Caesarea Philippi to Rome, Rev. New gave three lectures titled Personal Evangelization, Regional Evangelization, and World Evangelization. In Lecture 1, Rev. New relayed that evangelization must take place for ourselves first, and for this to receive the filling of the Holy Spirit by the seven partisans, guidance by the Holy Spirit through the seven journeys, and that we must receive the 300% answer that raises the absolute partisan through the seven guideposts. In Lecture 2, he relayed that we must save the region, church member, and church, and raise a 300% partisan by receiving the complete guidance of the Holy Spirit to assess the field and raise the disciples who will continue. In the final Lecture 3, he relayed that when we raise the missions partisan, the recreation of the heavens and the earth will occur. And for world evangelization, we must do prayers of saving ourselves in the morning, saving others during the day, and receiving answers at night. And through the prayer of healing, we must enjoy the answers of the three courtyards, three-day weekend age, and holy meditation age. Registrations are open for the November 237 Tuesday Disciple Training. You can register at WEEA until November 13th, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Meanwhile, the November 237 New Believers Field Ministers Training registrations end on the 30th at 6 p.m. The 5th World RTS Conference took place on the 24th at the Dokpyeong RUTC. Gathering the evangelists who will enjoy the answers of the holy meditation, evangelism, gospel, and 1,000 partisan movements for the sake of 237-5,000 evangelization, the 5th World RTS Conference took place on October 24th at the Dokpyeong RUTC. With a the theme, the least will become a thousand, the smallest, a mighty nation. In Lecture 1, Rev. New relayed the message titled, The Evangelism Disciple Who Saves the Source, in which he said to challenge to save the three areas, 100% myself and the church, and to prepare the field and system 100%. He also relayed that our mission is to heal the believers into the summit, and that challenging towards world evangelization is our life. In Lecture 2, with the title, Main Figure to Heal the World, he relayed that the goal of our ministry is to hold to Jesus' final pulpit as our covenant. And with the complete gospel Jesus has given, seeing God's plan is the complete answer and to raise the complete partisan which does not disappear. Also, the final opportunity given to us is healing and summit to prepare the absolute partisan to save the church, region, and world. Mothers of church members, protectors of evangelists, and co-workers will gather for the 21st Female Pastors Retreat with the theme Healing Evangelist on November 4th at the Dakpyeong RUTC. All pastors and pastors' wives, female pastors may attend. Lecture 1 will start at 11 a.m., Lecture 2 at 7 p.m. Registrations are open at WEEA until October 31st. The 8th Asia Business Persons Conference will take place with the theme Restoration of Three Economies on November 12th for two days at Bali, Indonesia. 
Lecture one will be on the twelfth at six thirty p.m. Lecture two on the thirteenth at ten a.m. Lecture three at three p.m. Registrations have been extended to November second. Detailed info is available at the W E E A Overseas Schedule Guide. The seventh, twenty twenty four Southeast Asia Evangelism Conference and twenty second Philippines Remnant Conference will take place on December seventeenth for two days in Clark, Philippines. The twenty second Philippines Remnant Conference will open on the seventeenth with the theme "The Opportunity to Save the Five Thousand Tribes." And the Southeast Asia Evangelism Conference will take place on the 18th with the theme "The 237 Opportunity." Registrations begin November 1st. Details are available at the W E E A website. The European Business Persons Conference and Evangelism Conference, with the theme "The Absolute Bartism Which Is Not Deceived," will take place from October 29th for three days in Munich, Germany. The November issue of the Prayer Journal is here. The important turning point time schedule of heading out to the 237 5,000 tribes, introducing the peoples of India and Central Asia. The school evangelization message is made to confirm what you must possess before doing anything to discover the God-given talents and enjoy the blessing of three concentrations, three answers in prayer. Also this month for the Remnant Conference in America, which we must pray for as the Rome of this age. You can confirm and meditate upon the fulfillment of last year's messages. Prayer journals can be purchased at conference locations and the W E E A website. This week's offering. Disciples across the nation and the world continue to send their heartfelt offerings to the 237 Center and R U T C this week. This week's announcements. Tomorrow's Sunday service will be given as the General Assembly Sunday, where all churches embrace in their hearts and pray for the General Assembly. Next week's core service will be given online. The person who knows the start knows the process, and that world evangelization is God's absolute plan. May our lives, businesses, and churches remain within that answer. This concludes the news. Thank you.